Honestly, what kind of a uh, person do you think is going to be the result of one who grew up with a single parent, a single mother, or a single father who's been wheeling in and out uh, boyfriends every two weeks, you know, taking them to bed, making sounds while she's uh, in her own room and uh, experiencing this while growing up, while hard impressions are being made in her head. If you look at the statistics all over the world of the people who commit crimes, unfortunately, great majority of them are from single uh, parent families. It's, it's sad, it's unfortunate, it's heartbreaking, but it is what it is. If you, uh, there, in, the, in the old uh, East, there's a saying that uh, such and such person grew up at their parents' table, meaning every night when they were having dinner, a father and a mother were present. Basically what it means is that a person who has the luck and luxury of growing up uh, within a, a, a normal structured family where there's a father and a mother, then there are chances of, of thriving and, and, and making it in the world and being a mentally healthy is much higher because a child is witnessing the roles of the, of the male and the roles of the female. When there's one parent missing, let's say a single mother growing, uh, raising a child, then the child, the girl, the boy completely misses. And there's a vacuum where the role of a parent uh, should be, a male, a male. She doesn't know what the relationship of the wife to the husband needs to be, what the relationship of the husband to the wife needs to be, what the relationship of the father to the girl needs to be, how a father is supposed to behave. All of that is missing, so there's a big blank. And instead of that, in the West, mostly, she sees a string of men going in and out, some of them violent, some of them having intentions on the actual uh, daughter. That happens all the time, sadly. So, what honest, when we think about it honestly, what kind of a person can be the result of a girl who grew up with a single mother who had a string of boyfriends, you know, in and out, fights, uh, cries, happinesses, all the actions that happened, you know, while she was growing up. She's going to grow up thinking, oh, that's okay. It's okay. It's okay to have a broken relationship, a bunch of men in and out of your uh, room or house. No father around, no stability. If the mother is doing alcohol and drugs, whatever, then back in the deep corners of her mind, it's okay. It's okay to have uh, drugs and alcohol and do those things, you know? It is what it is. Whether you agree with it or you don't agree with it, it doesn't matter. The gravity is going to be there. Whether you agree with it or not, if you jump out of a window, you're going to hit the ground. So, if we have a choice, if we have a choice, we want to be with someone who grew up in a normal uh, family. I'm sorry, but there is no other word but normal. Where there's a father and there's a mother. Even in the animal world, <laughs> you see, in the, you know, I've been to safaris in Africa where I see the, the male lion and the, and the lioness and the cubs there, you know, that's normal. Now in the Western world, most people break up and uh, children grow up in, uh, in uh, you know, broken families and we see the results. How does that, uh, how does that um, sit with the rest of the videos that I've been doing? Well, if you're dating a woman, it's very important for you to find out how she grew up, whether it was the father around, you know, or, or not. If she grew up with a single mom, with a string of, uh, you know, boyfriends in and out of her house. And, you know, I know how it is. I have been one of those boyfriends, you know, when I was younger. I did date women that were single moms and I really felt uncomfortable. And, uh, and I really honestly felt bad for the woman because on one hand, she was caught between the tension of being a mother and kind to her children. On the other hand, she wanted to please me. You know, and it never works. Sadly, it never works. It is it is like uh, gluing up together a broken vase. You know, you might glue it together, but the cracks still show. Uh, unfortunately, it is what it is. I do not mean to make a negative video, but uh, if you are uh, involved with a woman uh, who, or a man who's uh, a result of a broken family, then you have to expect some uh, emotional and uh, psychological issues there. You know, it's just, uh, it's just a mathematical 
you know, certainty. Two plus two equals four. Pardon the background noise as I'm recording this video going through uh, the city of Buenos Aires. But I wanted to make this video uh, to uh, get one point across that, uh, you know how uh, we grow up in our own families and the families of the person that we are uh, uh, emotionally involved with in a, in a relationship. Uh, you have to pay close attention to how they grew up. Was the father and mother around in a normal family? You will find that they are much more balanced. They are much, much more uh, emotionally and psychologically, you know, grounded and, and normal, normal than those who grew up with broken families. As much as they try to, they try to uh, make it normal. You know, everyone else was uh, divorced. Uh, you know, they say everyone else was divorced in my in my school. You know, all the other parents were divorced. Yeah. I know. Well, where you are, are in a big community where everyone else is a drug addict, that doesn't make you any better, you know? I hope uh, this has been helpful as always. Uh, I only have good intentions, uh, you know, no no bad intentions towards anyone, men, women, child, grown up, whatever. But uh, you have to, you have to realize in life, in any, in any endeavor, in any part of life, you have to first realize what is and that it's a capital I and a capital S what is and how are you going to make the best of what you have to deal with all the best till the next video